the people that waited on the Lord, the people that continued with Jesus, the people that continued in prayer, the people that continued in praise and worship, the people that continued in the promise of God, the people that continued to trust in God, they ate more than what that 5,000 men could eat. Hallelujah. They ate more than that. That's the reason only 4,000 men could be fed with seven pieces of bread. And that's the reason only seven baskets of leftovers were gathered. It is not because Jesus did not perform a better miracle. He did perform a better miracle. God hears our prayers but he answers in the right time. Yes. So when we don't feel like God is answering our prayers, many times we stop praying, we stop interceding, we stop doing supplication. But as Christians, as believers in Christ Jesus, the Bible asks us to pray always. Yes, yes. Jesus told, you must pray always. Paul writes to the church in Thessalonians, pray without ceasing. When Jesus fed 5,000 men beside women and children, how many loaves were given unto Jesus to do that miracle? Five loaves. Do you remember how many baskets the disciples gathered and lifted up after those five loaves of bread were distributed to 5,000 men. Twelve. Twelve baskets. We all know that story very well because we hear that story from the Sunday school itself. Mm. Very simple story, very interesting story that we can remember. Jesus feeding the 5,000 men beside the women and the children just with the five loaves which were put in the hands of Jesus. Do you remember that Jesus has done similar miracle later, this miracle? Do you remember how many loaves were given unto Jesus when he fed 4,000 men beside women and children? Exactly, seven. And do you remember when 4,000 men were fed with those seven loaves of bread, how many baskets were gathered? Seven. So, I don't know how many people here are good at math. If five loaves of bread could feed 5,000 men, How many men should have been fed with the seven loaves of bread? 7,000. But we read in the scripture, how many were fed? With the seven loaves of bread? 4, Only 4,000 were fed. So we have to think for a moment why this happened. And when 5,000 were fed with the five loaves of bread, 12 baskets of leftovers were gathered together. But when seven loaves of bread were only fed to the 4,000 men, there were only seven baskets of leftovers were gathered. I don't see a formula here. If that formula works out, the number should be changed here. Definitely with seven loaves of bread, more than 12 baskets of leftovers must be gathered. If the first formula which was applied to five loaves of bread feeding 5,000 men applies. But the formula is something different here. And I want you to look into the Bible and see Jesus feeding the 5,000 men beside 
women and children was recorded in the four Gospels, that is from Matthew chapter 14 and Mark chapter 6 and Luke chapter 9 and John chapter 6. We see this miracle was recorded in all four Gospels. But Jesus feeding 4,000 men beside women and children is recorded only in two Gospels, that is in Matthew chapter 15 and in Mark chapter 8. Let's read Matthew chapter 14 verses 15. As evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food. Come to the next chapter, Matthew chapter 15, verse 32. Matthew chapter 15, verse 32. Then Jesus called his disciples unto him and said, I have compassion on the multitude because they continue with me now three days and have had nothing to eat and I will not send them away fasting lest they faint on the way. The only difference between these two miracles is when Jesus fed 5,000 men beside women and children, when he blessed the five loaves of bread, there the people were listening to the word of God only from morning to the evening. But when Jesus blessed those seven loaves of bread and fed 4,000 men beside women and children, there the people were listening to him for three days. Do you know why God delays? God has a plan to bless you even more. Hallelujah. The first time the people were only listening to the word of God for a few hours. But now God wants his people to grow into next level. Take them to the next level. Why do we pray always? Why do we intercede? Why God wants us to do supplication? Because God wants us to take to the next level. Now people are hearing for three days. Do you know why only 4,000 men were there? I think it is my personal opinion. There may be 10,000 men. There may be 10,000 men on the first day. They heard about the miracle where Jesus blessed the five pieces of bread and gave food to 5,000 men. So many people came to hear the word of God. Many people expected that Jesus will do the same miracle on that evening. But Jesus did not do. Do you know what happened? Many people left that evening. Jesus. Are you leaving God in the midst of the delay? Mm. Good word. If God is not answering your prayers, are you thinking to give up your spiritual life? Mm. Don't ever do that. God has his purpose. God has his plan. God has his time. Because that is best for us. You may think this is best for me. Don't think this is best for me because your understanding is so limited. God's understanding is not limited. So he knows what is best for us. That's the reason he delays the people there who gather together to see the miracle. Jesus feeding those men. God delayed. So he continued to speak his word even the next day. Some people waited even next day. No. In the afternoon, Jesus did not do the miracle. So they thought, no, he's not going to do. Let me go away. Are you thinking to give up your prayer life? Are you thinking to stop worshiping God? Are you thinking to stop praising God? Are you giving up on your marriage? Are you giving up on your children? Are you giving up on your promise that God has given you? Are you giving up your faith? 
don't ever do that. Come on. Yes, some people left. Maybe let's say another thousand left. The second day evening, Jesus did not do the miracle. So some more people left. Are you thinking to stop coming to the church? Because God did not answer my prayer. Because God did not do that miracle which I was praying for. Don't do that. Stay here. Stay on God. Stay on his promise. Come on. So the third day came. Do you know? Only 4,000 men were there when God did miracle. My dear brothers and sisters, I'm here to encourage you. Don't ever give up on your spiritual life. No matter what you are going through in your life, no matter how the circumstances look to you, no matter how big problem is in front of you, no matter how, how long it takes God to answer your prayers, don't ever give up. Continue your faith. Because here the word of God says, because they continue with me, they continue with me. You have to continue with God in your marriage. You have to continue with God with your children. No matter how they are, God can change them. God can change your situations. God can heal your broken heart. God can build your marriage. God can bless you abundantly. Nothing is impossible to God. Don't give up, but continue with Jesus. Continue with him. When prayers are not answered, don't be discouraged. Continue with Jesus. Don't give up on your praise and worship. Continue to praise God. Continue to worship Him. Because He already started doing miracles. Do you know? When Jesus started to speak on the day one itself, God knows that He's going to perform a better miracle than what happened in the Matthew chapter 14. Come on. He already started it, but you could not see it. So don't give up basing on. on what you see. Because the Holy Spirit is working. Yes. While you cannot see, while you cannot understand. Hallelujah. God has already started working in you. God has already started working in your marriage, in your children's life, in your work. God has already started. Just continue with him. Do you know what happened when... They continued with him. I believe Jesus definitely would have performed better miracle than what he did in Matthew chapter 14 with five pieces of bread. I think he might have performed even better miracle. Yes, he did Bless those seven pieces of bread which 7,000 men could eat. And yes, he did bless those loaves of bread so that even more than 12 baskets can be gathered together. But do you know what happened? The people that waited on the Lord, the people that continued with Jesus, the people that continued in prayer, the people that continued in praise and worship, the people that continued in the promise of God, the people that continued to trust in God, they ate more than what the 5,000 men could eat. Hallelujah. They ate more than that. That's the reason only 4,000 men could be fed with seven pieces of bread. And that's the reason only seven baskets of leftovers were gathered. It is not because Jesus did not perform a better miracle. He did perform a better miracle. The more we wait on the Lord, the more we pray, the more we praise, the more we worship, the more we fast, the more we wait on the Lord, the more we hang to His promise, the more we continue to trust and follow Him. 
there is a better and greater miracle. I encourage you to continue your walk with Jesus. Don't ever give up. The devil is there always to disconnect your relationship with God. He always encourages you to discontinue your walk with God. Don't stop reading the Bible. Don't stop praising God. Don't stop praying. Don't stop your faith. The devil always wants you to stop, but continue with him. The more you wait on the Lord, the more you pray, the more you intercede, the more you do supplication, the better, the best miracle you will see in your life. Hallelujah. What a great blessing it is for those 4,000 men. Do you know all promises are true in Christ? Hallelujah. But many times as believers, we only claim one promise. But all promises in the Bible are for you. Hallelujah. God has given you each and every promise for you. For you. But many times we only claim one promise. See, the 7,000 people who could eat was only fed to 4,000. Because they enjoyed, they waited, they continued with Jesus. So the more you spend your time with God, the more you will enjoy His blessings. The more you enjoy His anointing, the more you enjoy His presence the more you enjoy his miracles, his wonders in your life. See, Jesus prayed always. Jesus being the son of God, being God himself, he prayed always. In the book of Mark, chapter 1, verses 35 says, Jesus woke up early in the morning before even it is dark. So he woke up in the morning, early morning, and he went and prayed. And it is so interesting to see Luke writes about Jesus' prayer life differently. Luke chapter 6 verse 12 says that Jesus spent all the night in the prayer. Mark writes that Jesus woke up early in the morning and he prayed. But Luke writes he prayed throughout the night. That shows that Jesus prayed always. If the Son of God, Jesus, if God himself, Jesus, needs such a prayerful life, how much more prayer life we should need. That's good. So I want to bring three scriptures which helps us to pray more. The first scripture is Psalms 55 verse 17. Meditating word of God and praying. I wanted to read from Aramic Bible in plain English. This translation exactly says what my local language says. At evening, at dawn, and at noon, I shall meditate and speak and make my voice heard. I shall meditate and speak. I shall meditate and pray to God. Don't ever just pray. God has given his word to meditate on it. When you meditate on his word and when you pray, that's when you can pray always. I heard many preachers say, pray more, pray more, pray more, pray always, pray without ceasing. So I went to my prayer room and started to pray. And I did a very long prayer, thinking that I might have prayed for three hours. And I opened my eyes and saw the clock and it was only five minutes. I prayed for everyone that I could. I prayed for everything that I can. But after opening my eyes, I could see only I was able to spend five minutes. But when you meditate his word and pray, you will be able to spend hours of time in prayer. Hallelujah. The practice of memorizing scriptures has helped me to write this book, Meaningful Prayer. Praying according to his word. So when you meditate his word and pray, you could Spend more time in prayer and you can continue with Jesus. The second thing is Acts chapter 16, 25 and 26, singing and praying. Let's read what Bible says here. And at 
Midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loosed. Paul and Silas were put in prison for preaching the word of God, for doing what Christ has called them to do. So they were singing and praying. David meditated on the word of God and prayed. And here Paul and Silas, they were singing and praying. So you have to learn to sing and pray. Meditating and praying, singing and praying. The third thing I will tell and I will conclude my message. Thanksgiving and praying. Paul writes to the church in Philippines chapter 4 verse 6. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be known unto God. So it's not just prayer, but pray with thanksgiving. Do you know when these five loaves of bread were blessed and satisfied 5,000 men? Do you know when those seven pieces of bread were blessed and satisfied the 4,000 men that were waiting for three days? When Jesus gave thanks for the loaves that were available. Hallelujah. Wow. And in both occasions it was clearly said. Where Jesus blessed them. Jesus gave thanks for the loaves that were available. available. Five loaves of bread is not even sufficient for a couple of people. But he gave thanks to God for what? he had in his hands don't ever bother about the things that God had to give you think about what God has already given you praise God for what God has already given you don't think about next husband don't think about other children think about the husband the wife that God has already given you he can change him. He can change her. He can bless him. He can bless her. Come on. Wherever you are, God is able to bless you. Don't search for windows. Don't search for doors. And don't escape from your spiritual life. Stay where you are. Continue with Jesus. And you will see the miracle. Give thanks to him. In every area of your life. I tell you. You will see the greatest miracle. So no matter what you are going through. God has a purpose. Plan. So give thanks for that. Amen. And God will do a miracle in your life. God bless you.